Divine Day family, I just wanted to pop on because I'm on my morning walk and I just had this download come through I wanted to share with you. So as our vibration continues to rise, as the Earth's vibration continues to rise, as we keep ascending into these higher levels of vibration, it's essential for us to really tap into the here and now moment because as these energies amplify, so don't our emotions. So if you're anchored in the past or in the present, you're either going to, or, or not the present, but in the future, rather, um, you're either going to be depressed as all hell, anxious as F, or if you're in the present moment, you'll feel an overwhelming sense of bliss, love, and unity. And uh, so if you're able to tap into this here and now moment, I really highly encourage everyone to read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Those two books are life-changing and honestly teach us how to stop listening to the monkey mind and tap into our state of being um, that's always available to us in every moment. And um, yeah, because all of our power resides in the here and now moment. And so focusing on what happened in the past or that you, you know, you got to just forgive yourself and move forward and learn from the experience and not make the same mistake twice. Like just love yourself, give yourself more love and grace. If you're focused on the future, you have no control over the future. You only have control over the here and now moment. So what can you do in this moment to tap back into the here and now? so that you can access your power and your your magnificence you know because ultimately we can give all of our energy away to negative negativity but all that's going to do is just bring in more negativity or and amplify it right or we can focus on the present moment and amplify bliss unity peace harmony oneness and really hone our power as the creative beings of our reality. The choice is ours. And I'm sending you so much love, soul family. I just wanted to pop on and say that because the energies have been really, really intense and I've been struggling um, to stay in the here and now. And I just realized that like through my dark night of the soul and everything and having all of these experiences, just really recognizing that like through the panic attacks and the anxiety attacks like it's all been teaching me how to remain in the present moment and now that the energies are amplifying i'm starting to see why it's been so crucial and so important for me to learn the skill it's so that i don't go crazy because as the energies amplify our emotions are amplifying so it's so important to learn this beautiful skill of learning how to be present in the here and now love you guys